like half a song is good, I love that, and then after that, it kind of go on. I, I have, uh, I have a dictaphone recording of, of my daughter. I'm playing sort of aggressively and singing, and then I stop and I hear her since screaming. And she's saying, Will you stop? <laughs> and I say that to remind myself that they don't really care as much. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was rehearsing and I came out, I stumbled across the chords to a song called One by U2. I was good. Um, especially when it first came out, they had like a super low budget video um, that they showed this buffalo at, at first and, and uh, running in reverse and, and, and sepia tone and it was it was like one of those things that someone probably did for free. And uh, anyway, I, I didn't really know all the words, so I googled it and I just put in one lyrics and to bam came up. Because um, I assumed that the most Googled song titled One was going to be the, the U2 song, because U2 is internationally super huge. And it's been a long time since Harry Nelson's One, which everyone's had a head with, that goes, One is the loneliest number that you ever do. Can't go wrong writing a song called One. So I start reading the lyrics, and it's, and, and it's about a guy from World War One that steps on a landmine. Wonderful song, but I use these lyrics, and, and this is what it sounds like, actually. 